We don't want to get to talk to your office, yeah. so relax. We, just, yeah. we got questions. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did, I mean, this is way back, but yeah. how did he finish up? He was starting for yeah, your playoff. Nice he did a nice job. He did a good job. He did a serviceable job. He did uh, He did what we thought he could do. Mm -hmm. You know, we won some football games with him in there, mm -hmm. playing both the nickel and uh, in the cornerback position. He had a couple of interceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, not at all disappointed in Dunham. Mm -hmm. uh, again, he's a young guy that has mm -hmm. a lot to learn, and, and there's plenty of room to grow him by yeah. no stretch of the imagination would I say that he's a Hall of Famer just yet, but we still have time. He made a leap last year. Can he make hey, another one? He needs to. Uh -huh, he needs yeah, to. Well, he needs to. Yeah, he needs to, and we all do. For that, for that matter, I mean, they all need to continue to grow, and I think he will. Pretty tough yeah. to crack that lineup, though, on the top three guys. I, I told him, I told him only the DB coach could get into that group. <laughs> <laughs> the only guy that could get out there and do any better than the three that, you know, we got listed on paper is uh, really talented to me. Yeah, that's, 80, that's 81, <laughs> though, Coach. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, <laughs> 80, 86, I'm, come on. 86, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a couple more years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I was there. Out. Yeah, you're right. You're right. right. Uh, Thank you. And, uh, you know, the club obviously invested in the contract yeah. in him. Yeah. But yeah. as far as how he and William Moore finished up the season, uh, if you could just address they did, that. They did a good job. You know, William uh, got nicked up a little bit. Uh, so we had him in and out of the lineup. We used James yeah. Sanders, son, you know, the kid that we had uh, uh, by way of free agency from New England. So William had a little, little injury issue there towards the end of the year, but Thomas did a nice job. William did a nice job. Again, they're continuing to grow. You know, this is my third year here, and uh, William William grew. But I didn't know what he was like his rookie year, so I wasn't here. But by by all accounts, you know, he he grew substantially. And then this past year, like I said, he was on track to you know continue to flourish. And, continue to grow and I, I think he had a couple of nicks that held him back a little bit but he's on track he looks good right now in this offseason uh, he's ready to ready to roll uh, he's learning a new system as we all are and I think it's going to benefit him the system will this system will, will aid William you'll see him probably more often than than you have in the past Thomas uh, continued to grow Thomas again uh, had a bunch of uh, tackles for us um, he continues to, to, to make all the calls back there for the secondary. He gets people lined up. He does a fantastic job with this, uh, with, with, with that type of thing. Uh, smart guy, athletic. Uh, I thought he did a good job. You know, uh, he, was yeah. better, he was better this past year than he was my first year here. That's what, you're looking for. That's what I'm looking for, just that continued growth. And what does he do to have to do to continue with that growth on, for next year? <laughs> DBs, let's yeah. see. They catch, <laughs> they intercept, they tackle, yeah. they recover fumbles, they make fumbles and they get people on the ground. And he makes calls, he makes people, he gets people lined up. So the more comfort, the more comfortable he is on the back end getting people lined up, he can get himself lined up faster. And then he can see the see the ball faster, he can make more plays on the ball. So I think he can make more plays on the ball is ultimately what we gotta get, we gotta get him to be like Ed Reed. <laughs> no, but I, I, want him, I want him to continue to grow. You know, and then I think if he gets his hands on some balls, People will start recognizing that he's one of the one of the top safeties around. Last question, guys, because Coach the, uh, Robisky's waiting. All right. Um, what's the key to you know the big thing this year off season has been the, uh, uh, improving on third down defense? That was your, your all big thing. What what are some of the keys to, to to improving those numbers and getting off the field for from the secondary point of view? Yeah. <laughs> Sacks you're asking, you're you asking the DB, right, right, right. Now you got it. Happened, no, I didn't you know. have to say it. There you go. But, uh, but what do your guys got to do on the back here? Cover closer. I know it's all Cover closer. I think, I think uh, mixing in pressure, mixing in pressure mm -hmm. zone, man to man. Okay. Uh, those type of things are what uh, Coach Nolan brings to the table. Uh -huh. The variety. You know, it, it's going to be, uh, you, you'll see a completely different package. Uh, and uh, we'll be using our athletes in, in different ways. And I think uh, the ability to keep people off guard and off balance is what uh, what he's going to bring that, that will it'll aid the John uh, Abrahams of the world, mm -hmm. aid the Croy Beermans of the world, and it's also going to help our secondary. It'll All help right. our team. It'll help the Atlanta Falcons. All right, guys. Coach Robisky's right. ready hey, for thanks, you. Thanks, Coach Lewis. Okay.